Dale, Gil. Quizás, Dani. No, vale, pero las pizzas te están muy Es. Dani. Amor. Esa es pepperoni. Sí. 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 Okay, Kata, welcome to the third episode of Pizza Night. It's a delight to have you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. <laughs> Where are you from? What uh, planet? What I'm planet do you come from? I'm from Chile. Chile in Valparaiso. Okay. And when did you start skateboarding? I started skateboarding when I was like 16. 16? And how old, how old are you right now? I'm 22. 22, okay. Um, yeah, and I started because I got like kicked out of school. Okay. <laughs> so my mom was like, you're not staying home doing nothing, so get a job. And so I started like looking around uh -huh. and I dropped some curriculums. I don't know if you say mm -hmm. like that. CDs. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, like CDs. CDs. And, and I only got one call from all the CDs <laughs> I dropped and it was from a skate shop. Mm. So when I started working there, um, some of the homies have started telling me, like, maybe you should try and skate or something. Oh, okay, you start there. Make, you makes totally sense that if you give some curriculum, CDs, like, yeah. your curriculum is like, drop, drop out of school. <laughs> <laughs> no? And some, some skateboard shop. It's okay. No, yeah, she's the yeah, one. She's the yeah, one. She's the right? one. <laughs> Come <Zero>. here. <laughs> so it was a really bad curriculum, to be honest. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sick story, for sure. So... Okay, so from there, you just try. So, so you mm. make your, your crew, your skateboarding crew, working there, right? Not really. It was just this one guy that is called Fat Italo Riquelme. <laughs> 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 uh, he was like the homie who started like coming at me like, yo, look, I'm going to make a whole setup for you with all like my, my old trucks and wheels mm -hmm. and boards. So you can try it, unless you give it a try because you're really young and maybe you will like it. I mean, I was like, I don't think so because I was already like really old mm. for like start skating. Yeah, I thought 16. at that 16 time. 16 is not really old. Come but on. I mean, I thought like, yeah, yeah, I yeah, always I see like, Good I don't point. know, like they, they were like so good already and everything. I was like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And Italo was also like, I don't know, by that time, maybe 27, you know, mm -hmm. like way older than me. Yeah. But then this one day after work, he bring me a board and I try it outside the ski shop. How was? Just like. Do you remember that what? day? Yeah. I, was I your first like, Oli? Like no. <laughs> 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 but I don't I But remember like um, getting in the board and just push a little. And after that being like, again, again, yeah. again. And being like. You got hooked. Oh, this, you is, hooked. this is so fun. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was yeah, really no, cool. Another feeling. Another feeling. But like 30 more years ago. <laughs> <laughs> when did you move to Barcelona? I moved here in 2017, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. But four years ago, more or less? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, yeah, actually, in this <laughs> month. <laughs> you just right now realize it was four years yeah, ago. Yeah, it right? was so, like, so long. Time is fast, eh? <laughs> but, but you make so a, like a nice progression, right? In, in, in a short yeah. period of time. I don't know. <laughs> how was how was that like? You was like chilling, is, working on a skate shop, or you're not, not working over there. Or I mean, after after that, I I finished that year like not going to school, and mm -hmm. after that, I did finish school and I went to college, and I was really unhappy because I really wanted to skate only, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I wanted to like. I don't know. I didn't say America is not as easy as here. You mm -hmm. know, if you don't have like a career or something, it's really expensive and it's really hard to make money like nobody really out there that's like just working in a coffee and buy it like and mm -hmm. can rent a room or something mm -hmm. so for me it was like the option that i i got by that time now why barcelona did you was like want to focus on a skateboarding career or you just like so Europe? i quit college i was like okay i'm done with it like uh, mm -hmm. i literally just want to skate so by now, as I don't know what am I going to do with my life, pretty <laughs> much. Um, I'm going to just go to Barcelona, which is my dream. Spend three months, try to feel like a little part for mm -hmm. myself. And then come back and then try to like figure out what am I going to do. The thing is, I never came back. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning, you was just for some months, right? Yeah, it was like just three months, months and coming yeah. back. But then I was like, 
in love <laughs> with the city and yeah. with skating out here and everything. So I, I just couldn't come back. Yeah. So you don't know anyone here or? No, I actually was like, okay, it's a skating, so I'm, I'm going to meet people, you know? I just know I wanted to skate and I cannot wait like for someone to come with me. So I was like, okay, I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah, now that I think about it, it was pretty crazy, but at the moment it was like, all my homies were like not skating as much. I was quitting college. I was just like, I just wanted to like skate and not wait any longer for that. So I was like, with the money that I had afford before. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you get here? Did you get like homies straight away? You been hanging out in Magba? How, what, how, how did you get like an apartment? Well, at first, uh, when I just came here, you know, my mom is a psychologist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she had uh, one of her patients here. <laughs> and she asked her, like, you know, my, my daughter is going out there and, like, she don't have as much money and maybe you could help her to find herself in the city. She's going to be there just for three months. So I stayed with her. Oh, ah, okay. Um, Where? In Poblenou. In Poblenou, mm -hmm. okay. So it was really cool. And I, I, she became like really close friends to me, and that helped a lot in the fact that I actually ended up staying. Oh, sick. And and I, yeah, I, I mean, like I went to skate like every day to Magba and start meeting a lot of people and start going out filming, having fun. But it was like nothing serious, you know. I actually was just like filming a part with my phone just for myself, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> yeah, no, not sponsors at, the, at that time. No, nothing. Just. Just came here. Yeah, like, just came here. Like I, I didn't have nothing to lose. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, like like <laughs> and Barcelona sounds like a plan, you know, like sunny mm -hmm. beach and people yeah, totally. skateboarding, everything. Yeah. And it's so gnarly because everyone tells you, you know, like it's the best city to skate and it's full of spots. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I know. But you figure out like maybe you're gonna get there and you will have to meet people so yeah. you can go to the spots. But then you're out here yeah, and it's, it's literally like. Full of his spots yeah. everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> you like literally skate Magba almost every day, right? Yeah, in yeah. Ciudad de la I think. <laughs> yeah, a little bit yeah. of both. <laughs> yeah. It's a, the Warma Plaza, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's special? Like, why, why do you are uh, kicking out like in Magba like almost every day? I mean, it's a cool vibe. It's fun, you know, and it's like a bunch of different spots in just one place. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you have the five stairs, the money pad, a lot of ledges, they are really cool. So you can actually, for example, for me, I like to skate the up ledge, yeah. like the money pad. Yeah. Not only as a money, but also as a ledge. So I can learn to, like, do yeah, a new the, trick there. From the, from the, small, from like the really small. Yeah, like, <laughs> I can flip back tails. <laughs> for me, it's really fun to do that kind of stuff. Also, like, um, the stairs are really fun. You know, they are not big. And also you have the big three, like, yeah. on the back. When, so when, when we can see a trick? Like, uh, I don't know. Like I a flip don't trick. A flip <laughs> trick. <laughs> don't so much something. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, you've been in the States. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, maybe, what, like, two years ago? Yeah. I remember, more or less. Uh, have you ever been before? Or this, this, this was your first time? Um, what happened over there? I got, like, my paperwork done here like yeah. all the <laughs> me and, and stuff yeah. <laughs> so um, when I, I when I finally got it I was like okay of course now I have to go see my family in Chile mm -hmm. but then looking at a map I was like maybe it's easier <laughs> going <laughs> to New York <laughs> it's not <laughs> actually it's far it's far away <laughs> but yeah like um, I, I went to New York for one day uh -huh. and then I went to SF for like three weeks and then to LA for another three weeks. But oh, just by sick. myself, it was just like, um, I really wanted to get to know out there and like hang and everything. I, I made like a lot of friends from the US here. Yeah. So it was like... For you, it, it takes two minutes to make a friend. For yeah, you. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I, I decided just like, yeah, well, why not? Why mm -hmm. not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like if you like skateboarding, you know, like all the things that are happening over there in the States, mm -hmm. like yeah, like in New York, SF and LA. So it's like place to go. I, you know? Yeah, you I really, really wanted really to get to know out there. And then last year I went to Miami as well in uh -huh. a skate trip with Nike. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sick. Um, how was like the first impression to get like SF and LA compared to Barcelona? 
It's so different. You're not yeah. like used to that anymore. <laughs> but like, why is different? Like better, same, like different vibes. I don't know. It's it's so different. It's like not like e even just like LA and SF is not relatable. Mm. It's yeah, like just way too different stuff. So I remember I got to SF and Tomo, this mm -hmm. girl that does this brand of uh, grip tape, yeah. Tomo, mm -hmm. you know, she went to pick me uh, in the airport, and it was so bizarre because like I didn't have battery on my phone so mm -hmm. I couldn't talk to her to see where she was or anything and she couldn't text me or nothing back so I was like trying to look for her around the airport <laughs> like no Tomo no. or something like that with the skateboard like, in your head like, <laughs> yo I'm here and and I don't know like then I sit mm -hmm. down like with my depressed face like fuck no this cannot be happening right now and the guy who worked in the airport told me, like, you want to call her in here, like, the sounds in the speakers? No. And way. I'm like, no, no way. way. <laughs> that, that's why I'm telling you, two minutes to make a friend, you know? Like, and I was in like, two so minutes, so it's so talking in the, in, the, in the airport, like. And yeah, it was crazy. the best. And I call her, and then we meet. Um, I was like, yo, Kata is here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, Tomo, it's me. I'm in this part of the airport. And she just went no pick me up. Way yeah. That. And yeah, and after that, I stayed like uh, in the house of a homie mm -hmm. and straight up Soma, yeah. the skate park. Do you prefer SF or LA? I don't know. They are so cool <laughs> both, like for real. I literally love them. If you put Barcelona, both. how you prefer? It's SF. just that he's, here's my home. I feel like mm -hmm. here. Yeah. I feel, feel like your home. Yeah, it's my home totally. Yeah. Do you have any board sponsor? Who would you write for? I write for a toy machine toy right machine. now. Toy machine. Okay. Wow. How long you been with them? Um, I think for like a year and a half. Oh, sick. Yeah. Are you gonna feel apart for them? Yeah, I mean, yeah. right now we're we're going to do another project injecting in September. So now I just find out and I'm going to start filming for that. And, okay, and yeah, also my DTM is like the coolest guy ever. Like Mike yeah. Sinclair, maybe you know him? Yeah. So I'm super stoked to actually be yeah, working that's with sick, him. That's sick, that's sick. That's good. And do you have any other sponsors? Yeah, I write for Nike, Big yeah. Wheels, um, G-Sub, Yo-Yo, yeah. Venture, mm. um, Farol. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Campita. And amigos. <laughs> Campita. And amigos. Okay, let's do it. Let's see, let's see. That's good, that's good. You get like a really good support. Yeah, yeah I actually do so. Thank yeah, you very good. much. It's so yeah. my sponsors. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Do you used to skate with uh, another girls? Are you hanging out with guys or who is your crew over here? When I started skating in Chile, it was just pretty much me and all the guys yeah. from the crew of the, the homie I told you. And when I came here, uh, the first years I, I just like escaped pretty much with all boys. Mm -hmm. But because I didn't got to know many girls, mm -hmm. but then the second year I met Vale. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, Sugar mm -hmm. in, in Instagram? Yeah, yeah, I know. No. Uh, she's the coolest. And after that, I just want to like skate with girls because she was like the funniest, funniest sessions yeah, all yeah. the time, <laughs> like always crazy adventures. And now I have a bunch of homegirls where like we won't we will go yeah, to no, skate like, like all the time. And right now you just getting mad by so, like a lot of girls. It's pretty sick. It's and cool. they all like super nice and encouraging me all the time. So for me it's really cool. Like I'm I'm stoked about skating with girls. So when you get here, you you was like you got your Instagram whatever it was like, but not that many followers than now. Uh -huh. <laughs> right now it's like crazy. You post anything, it's like. I don't know, a bunch, bunch of views. How is like that coming? Like just posting and coming like every day or or like Thrasher or Berics or Transwall posting? Like, I don't know. How was that coming? All that followers coming every day? I don't know. I guess I'm just really lucky and I'm thankful to like all the people <laughs> who like follows me because yeah. no, I, I like don't feel like I was doing anything like, okay, so I'm going to do this. Like I wasn't like planning anything specific. But it happened and I try to like do my best for that and also mm -hmm. for for the part I'm filming right now and it's it's great to have like so many support for uh, from so many people. It's it's great, you yeah, know. It's crazy, it's good, it's good. I think in my 
opinion is everybody follows kata because yeah. it's so fun to watch <laughs> never lands any trick in the beginning always yeah. started with a she always say like with like a slam the boss always he's say always yeah. laughing like yeah, like yeah, 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 like skateboarder is not hurting you know like no skate it's I like mean, the it pure representation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're always laughing. That's true. That's true. Did, did, did you cry any any time? In, in a way, I in cried a so yeah. much. Yeah, in that <laughs> fall that I have where I where I like suck oh, in the that real. That's Ooh. credit card. That, that, that was the official so credit card. <laughs> <laughs> like I cried so much. Like literally, I think I cried like six hours. And that, not because I wanted to. It was no, just like you. coming out. <laughs> 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 it was so bad. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of like, I don't know, like shitty persons, like what I call the people, you know, like mm -hmm. comments, you know, it's so, it's so free, you know, to comment to any post or whatever of you skating or doing mm -hmm. like the people like yeah. know, talking and talking shit, you know, it's like this, do you have a, any space in your mind to that or do you just, just... I used to, I think, Yeah. like actually pay a lot of attention like to the skate comments, you know, when mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. maybe like, <laughs> cause there are like some guys who be like saying like, you're not as hot and like, <laughs> I, I, okay, I can, I can do nothing about that. <laughs> but like when they were saying like, maybe like you always do the same tricks or I don't like your stand, like the way you do this or that. And I would take in that like really personal, like it really affect me at the beginning. Yeah. But then I try to like actually do things better, but he like just, for example, ask for advice to my homies, like, do, do, what do you think about this? Like, is it true? What, how can I change it? What can I do? Because yeah. it's also like, you can see it like, oh, this is just a bunch of hate, but sometimes maybe like, it can actually help you to be a better skateboarder. Stronger, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, you can, good, you can take that bad energy to, to create some something good. Yeah, right? and also there's so many people that is so nice, like literally, <laughs> like maybe like, <laughs> Takes me with the daughter and like she really likes you and blah, blah, blah. and then we do like phone call or something. Oh, yeah? it's like, no way. Oh. Yeah, because it's like so cute, you know, like oh, okay. for real. It's yes. I never expect that any of that to happen. So for me, it's really cool when like I feel like someone actually gets like inspired, inspired or something. And mm. it's cool. That's cool. For yeah, the price, it's pretty cool. It's really important to be yourself too, yeah. and to be true to who you are. Sometimes maybe it's not going to like everyone, but you're not here to like everybody. Support from brands, all a lot of girls in the plaza. Have you have you seen the? I feel like it's really cool. It's like um, for me a lot of motivation mm -hmm. to go out and skate because sometimes you maybe feel like you don't know if you're going in the right direction, if your progression is good, or and sometimes you see other girls skating from other parts of the world doing crazy ass tricks, and you're <laughs> like. <laughs> well, I literally want to do that and you see things in them that you see in yourself or maybe it happens backwards so it's really cool that all this scene is growing and it's being support like I mean we still need to work a lot on yeah them. but, like, but know? I don't know it's, it's good like brands is like paying attention getting support yeah getting, what, like, what I like the most about this is just that it's going to make a uh, biggest space for diversity as yeah. well mm -hmm. so it's going to encourage people to not only be just like oh if you're a girl you can skate like if you're whatever you can skate yeah. you know skateboarding is about skateboarding it's not about like being like, anything more than any other yeah, or being anything. coolest yeah. or being less yeah. or being that's just like the stereotypes that we keep on, on on our heads and everything else is just like not true yeah i know so from that is like you i think it was like I don't know, maybe one year, one year and a half, you make a girl's tour, that's right? Yeah. What was that? Just playing us. Um, it has to be fun. Greece <laughs> was fun. super yeah, fun. fun, right? Was was? Amazing. How, how also many, how many girls it was? Like uh, we, we were four girls. Four girls? And we went with Escatism, which uh -huh. is a magazine oh, of like diversity and stuff. Yeah. And it was where, totally where was amazing. It? Where was like, the tour? It was in Athens, mm -hmm. in Thessaloniki. But it was super cool to work with them and all, with all these girls, you know. It was Rian, Sara, and Agatha. And Pretty they sick. all super good, super motivated. Mm -hmm. Like, they all skate, like, different type of skateboarding. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so good. Diversity. Was yeah, yeah, like, so cool. And for me, it was, like, a really cool experience. It, I maybe, like, thought it was going to be different. Like, 
more stressful or I don't know because for me it was like my first tour with Nike so I was like I really want to do it like right tour vibes (laughs) nice but it was great I had a great time and it was super awesome like I have and also Greece is so beautiful and nobody Mm. like comes to kick you out of the spots or yeah. is bothered by mm-hmm. you by being skating. Sick. I, r- I really want to go. I really yeah. want to go. Okay, so Kata, so good to have you here. Hope Thank you, you. you get it like to your top. Hope you hope, hope yep. to see you like, like now, you know, laughing, enjoying your life, enjoy your skateboarding, enjoy your stay here in Barcelona. Mm-hmm. And good to be to have you here. And yeah. thank you for having me. Yeah. And sure, and, and <laughs> a pleasure. And by the way, you can say that it's a real pizza. Uh, <laughs> it's a real pizza. I just wanted to show you because in Danish they didn't show it. <laughs> so thank you for watching it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Queen of Magba. <laughs> <laughs>